The Ashanti Akim has 226 villages. Many villages like this are so remote that they're often forgotten about. So I'm here at a village called Jeriago and I'm here to um, check out village life and test a bit of my Ghanaian. Um, Uhudazen? Okay, um, that's all I know, so uh, sorry about that. Okay, that's it. <coughs> Okay, this lady's invited us into her house. I guess it's a typical Ghanaian house, so I'm just going to go in. She's very keen to show us around. Okay, this is a typical um, Ghanaian house. There are hundreds and hundreds, probably Village. thousands yeah. of villages with houses like this. And as you can see, it's, it's leaking here, where they have torrential rain and stuff like that. And this is the bedroom, one big double bed. And uh, for many people um, in the villages, um, just so many people were asleep in this tiny small space with all your um, brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles. They all live in community, which in some ways is great, but when you live in these conditions, you can see how hard it is for them. I met up with a farmer called John to ask him about family life in Ghana. How many children do you have? Oh, I'm missing. We were man soon. Seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. And um and some uh, and do they go to school? What do you mean I go to school? Davy. I didn't try. There are four older ones who couldn't finish school and they dropped out and they are all just having a some are married, some are a teenage pregnancy just recently. Is teenage pregnancy a big problem here? I say my own tiny. Uh, what happened? Very, very rampant. Well, why do you think teenage pregnancy is such a big issue in Ghana? I don't know. They, they, they don't seem to have anything to do, and then before you know, they're pregnant. Yeah. So <laughs> it's this... like there's nothing to do, really. They're not gamefully occupied. So. And how many people did you say lived here? It's in the percentage here. Yeah. In the do. Ten people. Okay, and is ten that um, family? Yeah, 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 yeah. Plenty of children. <laughs> <laughs> You're not included in the ten. <laughs> the children are not included in the ten. <laughs> See, the, thing, the thing about Ghana, isn't it, is like um, they all live in this community and there's, you get brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles. In England, if that would happen, it would be war. <laughs> The biggest need here in Ghana is education. For these kids to get anywhere and get out of the poverty trap that they're in, they need a decent education. With your help at Spring Harvest, AACO plan to build an educational centre that will transform the lives of these children and children in the surrounding villages. Just two pound a term will enable one of these kids to be able to go to school. Is anyone, anyone hot here? I'm quite hot. Do I have hot?